Let's convert the mixed number 3 and 2 29 to an improper fraction. So the best way to think about this, or one way to think about this, 3 and 2 29 is the same thing as 3 plus 2 29. And then we could actually try to add these two things together. And if we're going to add them, we need a common denominator. So we need to rewrite 3 as something over 29. So we could rewrite this as 3 over 1. Let me do this. Let me just rewrite it. So this is the same thing as 3 over 1 plus 2 over 29. The least common multiple of 1 and 29 is going to be 29. So it's going to be something over 29 plus 2 over 29. If we multiplied our denominator by 29, we're going to have to multiply our numerator by 29. 3 times 29, what is that? That's 87. Let's see, 3, 29 times 3. 9 times 3 is 27. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 2 is 8, 87. And if you wanted to know how I did it in my head, I just said, well, 3 times 3 times 30 would be 90, and this is going to be 3 less than that, because it's one, we're multiplying one, we're, we're doing 29 times 3 instead of 30 times 3. So instead, we go 3 times 30 is 90, 3 less is 87. So that's one way to do it in your head. But now we're ready to add. 87 over 29 plus 2 over 29 is equal to, we have our denominator of 29. 87 plus 2, 87 plus 2 is 89. 89. And it looks like we're done. I don't think these two things share any common factors. In fact, 29 is a prime number. And as far as I can tell, I think 89 might also be a prime number. Now let me think about it. Yep, 89 also looks like a prime number. So we're done. We've written this as a mix, as an improper fraction. The numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator. A quick way to think about it is we could just literally take 29 times 3 gives you 87. 87 plus 2 is 89. 89 over 29. 89 over 29.